Okay, so in this video, I want to go over a, a simple example for using the Fensky equation to calculate the minimum number of stages for a multi-component distillation. Here we, we're going to have an equimolar feed of propane, butane, pentane, and hexane, uh, which is to be separated. Uh, in the first distillation column, 95% of the propane is to be recovered. The distillate should not contain more than 5% of the butane in the feed stream. Uh, our feed enters at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So we have propane, butane, pentane and hexane. We have four components all in equal compositions. And in order to perform our separation, we need to we need to specify split split of two components so we have the uh, recovery of propane specified here and we also have a constraint on the butane so the next step is to list out all your chemical species list out all your chemical species starting from the lightest component going all the way to the heaviest component. And by lightest component, I mean the most volatile, and by heaviest, I mean the least volatile. The lighter the component, the more the vapor pressure is gonna be. So I use the Antoine equation to find the vapor pressures at 50 degrees Celsius for all these chemical species. Uh, we have a split, we have a split specified between propane and butane. So for this separation, propane is going to be our light key and butane is going to be our heavy key and the rest are going to be heavier non-key components. Okay, so the next step is to calculate the relative volatilities and for the relative volatilities, if we assume that we have an ideal solution that obeys Raoult's law, uh, alpha the relative volatility of chemical species i to chemical species j is just the ratio of their vapor pressures so i'm just going to do that real quick so for the relative volatility of propane with respect to the heavy key which is butane it's just going to be the ratio of these two pressures so just let's do that real quick 12 um three, six, three, four, two. so i'm just doing this on my calculator uh Okay, so this comes out to be 3.38. Now, the relative volatility of butane with respect to butane is just going to be 1. And sim we have to like perform the same procedure for pentane and butane. So pentane comes out to be 0 0.323. And hexane comes out to be... 4, 4, 4. Uh, pentane comes out to be at 0 0.109 okay so we have our relative volatility of our light key with respect to heavy key here I've written the Fensky equation in terms of the flow rates so uh, since we don't have the temperature of the f distillate or the bottom we're just going to use the temperature at the feed stream and use the relative volatility at that particular temperature but if you know the temperature of the distillate, then it is better. It's highly recommended that you take the geometric mean of the relative volatility at both temperatures. So now we don't have the uh, the light key flow rates in the distillate and the heavy key flow rates in the bottom or the distillate. So we can we can do that real quick by just performing a simple material balance. So I'm going to assume a basis of like 100 moles which means that since our uh, we have an equimolar mix mixture, we're gonna have 20 moles of uh, propane, 25 moles of butane, 25 moles of pentane, and hexane. Okay, so now we just need the we just need the flow rate of pen, uh, propane in the distillate and the flow rate of butane in the distillate. 
same with the bottom we just need the flow rates of our light key and heavy key and if we go back to the problem statement like we have the recovery specified now in order to recover 95% of propane 25% uh, of the feed has to come out in the distillate so your light key distillate is just gonna be 95 of the entering feed flow rate and the distillate is the distillate should not contain more than 5% of the butane in the feed okay so that's not a composition this is a this is also a recovery so 5% of 25 moles of butane have to end up in the distillate. So once you calculate these real quick, you have your light key flow rate, you're gonna have your heavy key flow rate. Okay. Now, once you have the once you have the flow rates in the distillate, the flow rates in the bottom can be found by just doing a material balance. So, for example, for propane, at steady state, whatever goes in must equal what comes out. So we have 25 moles going in, and we saw that 23.75 are coming out, and whatever is coming out in the light key but it can just be found from a simple material balance which in this case comes out to be 1.25 so this should be real quick like you should probably like a very this should be a very quick calculation for you guys and so we have our flow rates um, going back to our fence key equation we have our relative volatility, light key, heavy key in display, heavy key, light key in bottoms. So let's compute the uh, number of minimum stages real quick. 23.75, that's the flow rate in the distillate. Heavy key flow rate in the distillate. heavy key flow rate in the bottom divided by the light key flow rate in the distillate and our relative volatility was found to be 3.38 so once I plug these numbers in my calculator I should get The minimum number of stages comes out to be 4.835, correct to 3 6 pigs. And since number of stages is a discrete variable, you might want to round it up to 5 stages. So that so that's a, a demo on how to use the fence key equation for a multi-component mixture to find the minimum number of stages in the next video i would like to go over how to find the uh, compositions of the non-key components in your uh, distillate and bottom which can also be done using the fence key equation so see you next time